Hi guys. So in our previous videos, we saw like uh, we understood the concept like how API works, what is REST, how our data looks like in the form of JSON, in the form of XML. So in this video, what we are going to learn is like how developers creates API. Okay, in that API, what and all components used to be there. Okay, so those things we will be studying. Now coming to endpoint. Endpoint you can consider it is like a starting point. Okay, a starting point of some website where you want to reach. Okay, after that there will be many contents inside that. For example, uh, let's me go to okay, make my trip. Okay, make my trip dot com. Hold on, just a second. Yeah. So this is like a starting point. Suppose if you want to book ticket through make my trip. So so this this is like this is the base URL starting point starting point. and we should always consider this starting point is always unique for everyone. Okay, why it is unique for everyone because because in our internet okay on server there are many many like lakhs and lakhs of uh, softwares are running okay if two application will share the same base URL then what will happen there will be a conflict whether to open that uh, URL or this URL so this is always used to be unique Nick, whenever like uh, if when you'll try to register your website uh, to server so at that time if you will ask for any existing uh, base url then they'll not give they'll tell like it is getting used you you should uh, get, uh, get some unique one okay so this is what this base url it is like a starting point okay for example uh, in real time what we can tell uh, suppose uh, suppose you, you in in your friend everybody used to have one mobile okay so that mobile number suppose you want to call one guy guy and so his number is unique okay and the other person is number is unique no two guys can have same number it is like in the similar way so this make my trip is having having this is the base url no other company can use this as a base url okay so now so what is base url we got to know now resources okay inside this you can see like many things are there okay uh, hotels are there flights are there hotels are there villas apartments are there so see after base url slash you can see like hotels okay so this is what resource inside resource you can search other things okay related to that particular things okay so uh, hotel is uh, one re, uh, means uh, resource then home stays is one resource holidays india is one resource so this is what resources so base url and then you will go for resources okay so what we'll do we'll go to flights okay now what i'll do i'll try to search uh, flight between bangalore and pune okay so let me click on just a second i'll open networks tab by clicking on f12 so that i can show you what is happening behind also so now we clicked on this search button okay so now see based on whatever input you have provided you got the result right so in this this what we did we passed like bangalore is the from and pune is to and this is what our uh, departure date okay and this is like one way so these information we need to send it to the server okay so that server will get to know like what i am trying to do what i am trying to search from which date which date I am planning to go somewhere, okay? And how many passengers and other things are there? So based on the requested data, data, the server has given response and those response is uh, showing here, okay? See, there are flights available at 11.30 p.m., uh, one o'clock afternoon. So based on the data availability, servers have responded this. So while sending, what we sent, we sent Bangalore, we sent Pune, we said this so see few information okay see after see this is our base url and this is like uh, our uh, resource okay and then after this is our resource then we are searching searching and for search we we have provided few data those data are nothing but it is called parameters okay these are the parameters like what and all data we are sending see we can send data in two forms either either through a url itself 
or through body okay that body i'll be explaining when i'll uh, explain the post request so in this what happens like bangalore see so the code of the bangalore they have uh, bangalore to pune they have added over here so they, there is a one parameter called itinerary and that itinerary is having these values okay so how it is getting created and this is the date so what developers are doing doing after entering the detail when you clicked on search right so ui developer what that ui developer did did they collected all this information and they are sending in form of query parameter to to uh, the server using this uh, this is the resource this is the uh, sorry this is the base url and this is the resource and then the, it is searching for these data provider so these are the parameters like what is you need so you will provide some information right those are parameters so this is what the parameter is this parameter meter is separated through question mark okay through question mark till question mark you have a base url you have resources then question mark then itinerary itinerary is like this this so this data you are sending based on that you are getting the response so so this is what api is composed of okay api is made up of these three things okay so so uh, parameters okay parameters we can send in two forms one is like path parameter and one is like query parameter okay so path parameter what will happen directly like uh, uh you can give something like just a second uh, yeah see this is users this is by id ha huh. see this is what param uh, path parameter because here we are not using question mark to send anything just we are sending one so it will what it will do it will go to this this particular base url then this is the resource inside that resource it is trying to search something with one okay so this is how it looks like so this is what the project is i'll be explaining well uh, while giving uh, miss while explaining in detail like what is gate how it works what data comes from server and what other things okay so till now just understand what is base url what is resources and what are the parameters okay so this is the one way to pass data to the server okay so so now not all as i told like not all data we used to send it through uh, url because few things are uh, uh, like uh, sensitive data for example you cannot send your uh, credentials over here right so that's what so that we will be sending it through json response uh, json body when we will uh, try to see like post request okay so till then uh, this is what uh, this base url and it is uh, what it is composed of this is how they used to create apis okay so now if you want to see just a second also you no okay thanks